Los Angeles, March 8th through April 7th. Buy tickets now at Shenyun.com. About this time last year, I was making my deliveries, and a car rear-ended me. It's never easy seeing someone injured, especially someone who gives so much to the community. We knew we had to get Nick the best possible medical care and back to work as quickly as possible. How did I choose Jacob? Well, I made a list. Source. Whole home water systems that prevent scale without the hassles. Life source water systems. Clippers, Kings, tonight at 7 on KTLA 5. Now at 4 o'clock, stepped up security at one of LA's hottest destination spots after a deadly shooting at a popular restaurant. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Lou Parker. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. Samantha and Pedro have the day off. There is a manhunt right now for the gunman. and here at LA Live. Meantime, we're told that detectives have been here throughout the day working with LA Live management and security to try to get as much security video of the suspect as possible. This is the first known homicide in this venue. After Tuesday night's first deadly shooting at LA Live, since it first opened some 16 years ago, the LAPD has increased their police presence in and around the venue. Authorities tell us robbery and homicide detectives have been working tirelessly to find the man who walked into Fixin's Soul Kitchen around 6 Tuesday evening and gunned down a man in his 40s who was dining by himself. Uh, a lone male parked his car in front of this, uh, a white midsize SUV. Parked his car in front of this location, walked in, and literally uh, violently gunned down this individual that was inside this, uh, this restaurant. We don't know the motive. We don't know the reason. We don't know if there's a connection somewhere. But police officially aren't saying there's a connection between the shooter and the victim. They are saying there's no threat to the public. We truly believe, and I just got an update from uh, our elite robbery homicide detectives, we truly believe there's no further risk of harm to the public at this point. Police tell us another woman who was also dining by herself was grazed by a stray bullet but is expected to be all right. We spoke to some people at the venue about the deadly shooting. And that's it? No, no altercation? The no, they just walked in and did it and left? Mm -hmm. That's a little upsetting. This lady tells us she just dined at Fixins today and says she spoke to the owner, former NBA player and Sacramento mayor Kevin Johnson. I didn't feel any difference as far as the mood or atmosphere or anything like that. It just seems like a normal business. Uh, I got to speak with the owner. He didn't mention anything about uh, anybody being killed in there yesterday. Fixins released a statement saying in part, Fixin Soul Kitchen is shocked and saddened by the incident that occurred at our L.A. location. Our hearts go out to the victim's family and loved ones. And police tell us that the suspect was wearing a mask and used a handgun. And as for the victim, all they'll say at this point is that he's a black man in his 40s. For now, reporting live here at LA Live, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. We are learning new details now about a deadly shooting in San Dimas. Neighbors believe the victim might have been followed home before that attack. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson joining us live from San Dimas where she spoke with the victim's family. Hi Shelby. Hi, Sandy and Lou. Yeah, this is a tragedy this family is still trying to make sense of. We've seen several family members coming and going through the home that you see right behind us. A few of them just arrived a short time ago. Now, we are learning new details about this and we just spoke to the aunt of the victim. I cannot even express my feeling how devastated we are right now. A devastating loss for a family grief. 